Ooh, I'm gonna try, try to keep it together. But, um, so I just wanna make this TikTok because I was just on live this morning. And of course, we all know uh, Russia invaded Ukraine. But in this TikTok, like, of course, you know, okay, I'm in uniform. Everybody knows what's going on. So, of course, everybody coming in with the Ukraine, Russia, and all of that, you know, comments or whatever, asking questions. And I'm just like, I'm not here for that. I'm not addressing any of that. But then, like, it's just like, I really hate it how people are so insensitive, especially, like, and it's like, it's the civilians. And, but they're so insensitive to, like, what military people really go through. This is my first term and like it's like y'all like what makes me so mad is like y'all are so insensitive y'all want to talk about oh this is what you signed up for this is what you nobody goes into the military wanting to go to war thinking they're going to go to war i'm finance for crying out loud nobody thinks this is going to happen but like civilians y'all get to go home y'all get to go to y'all families y'all go to work y'all know what y'all life is gonna be my life is so unpredictable i could be deployed within the next few days like i really just like i didn't come into the army for this and it's just it really like it kind of it hurts me like and i don't i don't really like to let stuff affect me but this is affecting me because this is my life <sighs> but <clears throat> I just, I, if anything, I really just want people to be like, be more sensitive to the situation because this is my life we're talking about. Like, there's potential that, like, honestly, like, there's potential that, that anybody going over there can't come back, won't come back. So, it's just, uh, I just really, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't even know why I'm making this, but it's just like, people talking about the situation, like, please just, just keep in mind, these are real people, people that have families, people that have children, and y'all making jokes about it and y'all this and y'all all of that and these trolls i'm like these are real people real life situations like please just be sensitive to stuff because like i'm not gonna lie to any of you i'm scared as hell right now i'm just oh you know i say all praises and honor until you how but i shame you i shy but i shame you and double and as to the apostles and the elders a great stone Shalom warm to all the brothers I'm out there pushing the truth in all sincerity and in all honesty. You know, this is a brother from James, um, Jamaica camp. Um, yes, am I? I war. I know um, touch upon um, you know um, this whole um, you know um, World War Three scare. We see um happening across the world now because you know, you know you have even this video circulating you know, with um this um so-called um black woman you know, from the U.S. military. You know, basically. I, I cry about the whole thing because you know she she basically I say um maybe don't get deployed to you know the, the war basically fighting the war which is not gonna happen still right the count the prophecy not gonna happen right but not only she you have a lot of you know people who join the military even even people basically were around us over the years you know they have been speaking you know, about all these things to come you now in the even the US Army but you've been speaking about all these things. So if them that basically, you know, get a reality check soon too. Right? Because we're heading into the time of the third world's war destruction. Right? Give me a scripture, brother. Um, Joel 2 and verse 20. One. It is Joel 2 and verse 20. One. But I will remove far off from you the northern army. So this is what the scriptures are gonna take place. Right? Where's it taking place right now in Ukraine? Well um U Russia, Ukraine situation. It's just a built up you know, for the third world's war, right? Because according to the prophecy, right? Um, the Lord said, I'll get all the nation, and I'll bring them down in the valley of Jehoshaphat, in the Middle East, right? And before this, world, this third world's war kick off full fledged, we still have certain prophecies we have to come to pass before this war kick off full fledged, right? But this is what's going to happen to the American, you know, army, according to the scripture, right? Go on again, brother. Hey, and basically, hey, as, as Akida mentioned about that, that, that female. Go on. That in the that in the um the military U.S. military yeah she basically saying that she never signed up for this God. yeah she hey like you know a lot of them going to the army you know to get benefits to go to college then yeah. so if you go through certain things yes God. they have it easy out in their life man the travel and all these things way out but God. guess what for you for you for you sign up to become a soldier then you have to, you have to remember 
So you have to learn to endure hardship, man. Can. See? Can. Hardship is gonna come. Can. Yeah, because you can you, you can basically send up in the, in, the, in the army, you know, for your, for your period of time and no really no war not really come. No, but can. now we actually in time of war. So that Uncle she, you have a lot of people. He even sign up to basically turn police because even I'm out in Jamaica, you know, it's hard to get a certain type of job Can. to pay a certain type of um, certain basically money. So you have a lot of young, young basically youth who live in school now, live in high school and they don't really have no job. I tell them going to the army or into basically police force, but actually in the Can. time now, we know where the third world war is going to take place, yeah. right? And there are a lot of things going to happen. Can. A lot of them going to regret it, right? We in this truth now, we understand and we know that, you know, certain things come. You know, basically, we will be, uh, be in this too. As scripture says, you have basically count the cost. Right? We know that, you know, if basically I push this truth, it, it requires us certain things. And we can, or we can basically even yeah. happen to us. You can count to the scripture say, Right? Yeah. Go on, Joel. It says, um, Joel 2 and 20 again, it says, But I will remove far from, far off from you the northern army. Which is the American army. So this is what's going to take place. Yeah. Right? In the, in the coming basically months or in the coming years, right? Go on. And we'll drive them and we'll drive him into a land barren and desolate. That's basically in Saudi Arabia, in the desert in Saudi Arabia, right? So the American military are going to get basically brought into the Middle East. Are they going to call for a draft? Because I don't, that's one of the things where people are speaking about now. That are even no. so called Jamaicans, you know, at one point in time, you know, out here with, with speaking about. You know, this third world war we basically come. And a lot of people basically been scoffing for years. Can. You know about the whole thing. And now we have people afraid. Right? Because then they say they now go fight in a war and you know and then now I'm basically got drafted. But the what basically happened this time around and both man and woman. <coughs> yeah, right, you have a, even as I mentioned last night in the video, you have a, a, a monument um, out in Port Antonio, Portland, and all the people from Portland get drafted. Right? And in the in the article they say what? Even doctor. Right, so in the time of war, it doesn't matter which job, position you have. For them send for you, you have to go. Right, right. And this war, this, this time is going to be greater than even World War I and World War II. Which is right. Where more people going to get jobs to basically fight in this third world war. Right, than World War I and World War II because it's going to be the greatest war ever, you know, basically fight on the planet. No other war in history can compare to this one. We're preparing for basically take place. Right, go on, brother. Is, um, which is faced towards the East Sea towards basically um, the, um, the, um, the, the Persian Gulf water up to the Euphrates that's where basically the American military face is going to turn go on and it's in the part to the Atomos Sea which is the Red Sea so they're back going to turn to the Red Sea go on See? and it's stink shall come up go on and it's ill savor go on shall come up because he has done great things. So a lot of me, a lot of these soldiers are gonna get destroyed in this coming destruction. Right? As scripture said, this is a prophecy. Right? So you say they stink gonna come up. Because a lot of them are gonna die in the Middle East. Right? America, you know, been um been um the bully for so long on the earth, you know, been going into countries, you know, and destabilizing countries, taking their resources and all these things. But the Heavenly Father, tune him the Hebrews, the how. Jim Sonny, how is shy? Save the best for last because America gonna basically do what they do best, you know, running, you know, are basically sending them troop and then troop or do what they're supposed to do. But this is what's gonna happen until the American military in the Middle East. So you say they think gonna come up out of their carcasses. Set up the standard. Set up the standard, man. Um, yeah. Isaiah, first, Isaiah 34 and verse 1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. right, go on. This is Isaiah 34, verse 1. Go on. Come near ye nations to hear an ye people. An archine people. Now, I tell you, supposed to have to take you to, you know, what the scriptures say. But the prophecies, you know, we basically we are bringing from the scripture. Right? No, no, I tell you, you're supposed to have a, a fret. You know, if you don't want to work, you can receive it. Because I know that me try to tell people, they just now basically get this truth and decide. Right? So, she was say, Come here, people. You know, and harking, all nations, you know, our people and also these Eden nations. Take you to where the prophecy I say. Go on again, brother. Say, come, ye, come near ye nations to hear Gun. and harking ye people. Gun. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. Gun. 
for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. So the scripture said the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. The word indignation basically go back to what? Righteous anger. So when I tell you now when the Lord basically you know putting the spirit you know and all his leaders, especially you know the Russian leader um, Putin, basically you know um make him move to get back, you know, this the whole Soviet Union, you know, back and you know, up and running. Okay. Right, because you know the time of the third world war, that's what's preparing. Okay. Okay. Right? No matter the scripture scripture actually said meet Brady Harrows. Um, because the Lord had, had raised up the kings of the, the, the spirit of the kings of the need by right? huh. devised against Babylon to Cut. destroy it. Zin? And, him, and basically, say, because it is the Lord's vengeance. Gone. At the time of the Lord's vengeance, now, man, Gone. we are approaching it. Zin? Gone. And when you're on Russia's side, we are basically about what the prophecy say. Gone. According to the prophecy, Russians are going to play a very important role Gone. in this third world war destruction to lead out all the armies to come against America. Right? Yeah. Continue, brother. Because um, what the Russia and all these nations are doing, they're actually yeah. um, going towards the prophecy, and that's what we're all about here. Gone. Because we know that when these prophecies come to pass, it's the kingdom next. Gone. Gone. Yes. Right. Um, verse 2 Gone. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, Gone. and is pure upon all their armies. He had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter. You can't say, she must say, he had utterly destroyed them. So all the military, all the men they may get in the Middle East, that are them going to get destroyed. A majority. Right? Because a lot of men bring all the armies them in the Middle East. So, yeah, as I mentioned about the video we are circulating now with, you know, this um, American soldier, um, female soldier, you know, and uh, basically a cry, a threat about the whole thing. So, you know, about the deploy. She going to get deploy. And, you know, the benefits come. Because in the society, you know, um, we wouldn't be our uh, people being light, especially the woman of our nation. Right? That's basically we equal. Yeah. Right? So you know, a lot of them go in the army, they go in go in the basically police force. But when it comes to the the real test, you know, or the, or the hardship, we are entering you know, the hardship. Then enter there where them basically want to, you know, um back out of the whole thing where basically they mean then them gas them up with yeah. this whole feminist thing. Yeah. Even Ukraine, you know, see what's taking place in Ukraine. You know, you have this video um, with um, this, um, this um, Edomite looking man, you know, a cry. Because his daughter and his wife, you know, go, basically have left and him can't left. Yeah. Right? It's a reality of the situation. So what's taking place in, in, in uh, Ukraine is just an example of what to come. Well, because yeah. it's just a beginning of what to come. Can. Because way more greater things are going to happen. It's just a beginning of sorrow. Can. Yeah. Can. It's a, the scripture also says the mighty man shall cry here bitterly. bitterly. Their slain, verse 3, Gone. their slain also shall be cast out, Gone. and their sting shall come up out of their carcasses. Gone. So, scripture said, Your sting shall come up out of their carcasses. A lot of dead people are going to lie in the streets, right across the world. Yes, yeah, so basically, it's saying, I said, that, that, that show the same thing, nothing not different from uh, um, the, the scripture that Joel, Joel has said. See? So, them sting shall come up. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are going to die, man. Gone. A lot of uh, greater more people, greater among more people. Mm -hmm. Uh, I gonna go die um, um, many, so, um, many more I gonna die Many this. more, you can't get it And the mountain shall be melted with, the, with yeah, their blood Gone Alright Gone And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved Gone And heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll And heaven shall be what? Rolled together as a scroll, scroll Talking gun. about the, the, the mushroom crowd You know they, when this all this, this worried from this ICBM missile hit you know, the land of America. Right, gonna basically bring um that our mushroom cover gonna basically come up here. Right? These ICBM missile war it, gone to the brother. As a scroll and all their oaths shall fall down as the leaf falleth up from the vine gone. and as a falling a falling fig from the fig tree. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Gone. So the scripture said the Lord's sword are gonna be in heaven. Cause you know these ICBM missile are also the Lord weapon. Gone. Right? Can't. So say, Lord, so they got buried in heaven, mm -hmm. talking about Gun. these ICBM missiles, these intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right here, you know, the threat or the nuclear threat, you know, you see, you know, in the news now, right, ultimately going to take place, right, because this is a future prophecy. Gun. Say, for my soul shall be buried in heaven, Gun. behold, it shall come, come down upon I do. And I do means what the Greek way of saying what? Edom. So they're going to come down and land, ah, and ease them. 
so called white people in America. Right? Not just them. And also people all yeah. people living there. Yeah. And all them nations are in America. Man. Yeah. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. And and the, the scripture mentioned that um, Israel is going, going to be corrected by measure. By measure, man. Uh, in the land, they are going to cut off two thirds. See, two thirds are going to be cut off. And, and the third are going to pass through the fire. Son. See? See, it says, um, it's the second letter of five and one. It says, Nevertheless, as, as coming, the tokens, behold, the days shall come <coughs> that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in a great number. Can, so say, they who dwell upon the earth shall be what? Taken in great number. Right? You have um um I think I what? About four years back four years back you have um female camp to come out, you know, the whole um you know uh, digital device thing. You know you can't do a certain thing now on YouTube because you know you know sense a thing. You know so if even even um certain places the time to come, they're gonna basically bring a lot of people to basically give them that thing, you know? right? A digital device, right? A counter, a counter prophecy, Son. right? Go on. Then shall be taken in a in a great number, Son. Then, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. The land shall be barren of faith. A lot of people gonna lose faith, Son. Then, right? Then. When when society start to really get um. Society, I get out of, out of hand. People actually, like I say, no God, no them, man. See? Yeah. yeah, people like I said, you know, but no God couldn't tell why this happened. See? All of these things, man. man because, you have, you can, because you have people that say, you know, they, they, they must say, God, God not going to make the use of nuclear. Can. Because they don't understand you. They don't understand what really taking place. These are the Lord's weapons. Man. These yeah. are the what Lord's weapons that brother mentioned. Yeah. So people yeah. getting scared and say, all different type of things. Even, even if you how wish I say it, you know, going back 2000 years ago, he said, Nevertheless, when the Son of Man come, shall he find faith and the hurt? Can't. Because a lot of people are going to lose their faith. You know, we hope and pray, you know, we, we continue on this path. Continue right? Because if I say, He that endure until the end, the same he shall be saved. saved. So we have to continue on this path until the end. Right? right? It says, But iniquity shall be increased. Can't. We above, see, that. We see above, that right now. Can't. Above that which now, uh, which which no thou seest, Man. or that thou has heard long ago. Right. So, so it has increased above what we see, or above what we hear about long, but from, from back then, man. Mm. So, you know, you could the panera long time, but it has increased above all of that, above the present day, and, and above what we hear about before, man, so in other time to come. He says, um, it's a, it's a greater, the scripture actually tells us a greater evil than these that we see now and got happen up on our hurt. Year after, yeah. Year after. Year then, after. Then, and, the, and, and the land that thou seest now to have root shall thou see wasted suddenly, man. Fun. Yeah. The scripture actually tells us a sudden destruction that's going to come upon them, man. Then, so the land is going to get wasted and burned. Okay. Third, can I start at two and then jump to that? Isaiah 32 verse 9. Go on. Say, rise up ye women that are at ease. Go on. So the scripture says, rise up ye women that are at ease. Because now, you know, this, the, this, the, this time we're living in, you know, the society, you know, everything in the society surrounding women. Right? The movies, yeah. Go on. Right? Them all is a fair of this. Woman star, the corrupt try to be the ruler, yeah. Yeah, the ruler, like she had a ruler. <laughs> yeah, right, but we are coming to the end of the all this madness, yo. all the confusion is taking place. Though. We are coming to the end, right? right? As I mentioned, what takes place in Ukraine, you know, sure, you know, when, when time gets real serious, man have to step in, you know, and take, right. they, they take over all these certain things where the woman don't want to deal with because so what now, then they say, what, from 18 to 60, I have to stay back. Done. Right, but the woman them can go. Yeah. So in a time of chaos, you know, distress, you know, man of basically the one of our baby. I'll be the one. The shield or, or, or the protector. Jump to verse two and then I go back with that. Right. Verse two. Isaiah 32 verse two. One. The, and a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a cover from the 
from the tempest. Scan. So you supposed to say a man go be a hiding place from the wind. Scan. Right? And from what the tempest. So a man go be a hiding place from all these things to come up on the earth. The time of Jacob's trouble. You know, the third world's war we see you preparing right now in the Middle East. And not talk about any man neither, it's about the men of the Lord. Because the regular the regular um Jake gonna bug the hell out. We already seen a lot of lot of people getting shaky already, a lot of even the men them getting shaky. Right, so so might not sh so might not show you outside but inside them shaking. This is what happening in the Middle East right now. But we understand that we know because how Bashim you know give us that spirit. You know? Right? Our years we've been talking about this thing, we expect these things to come, but they might look for things get better. Right, as they claim to say them are, they are, they are free up. Yep. They woke up back now, this has uh, happened suddenly. Yeah. When they least expect it to, that's what the scripture says. Okay. When they shall think of peace and safety, yes. then sudden yes. destruction yes. will come upon them. And the scripture, the scripture actually tells us that Yahweh is, is ahead of, of, above Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is above the man, and the man above the woman. So as the scripture said, um, the man is going to be the hiding place. Mm -hmm. Because that's how even our women are going to get delivered, man. Then I show the men of the Lord them are get delivered and. from the destruction to come of the, the hey, even, even, even your kids, man, your children are going to get delivered that way. Then, hey, if you have faith in the Lord, you are going to shine to the end, man. Then, hey, your, your, your family will get delivered, man. Lord's will. Hmm? Go on. And I cover, he said, a man, and a man shall be an iron place from the wind. From the time of this truck, the time of Jacob's show we are ap approaching right now, the scripture says a man gonna be an iron place from the wind. Go on. And are covered from the tempest Go on. as rivers of waters in a dry place. A dry land? No, in a dry place. In a place? Can't, can't tell. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Go on. Exactly. And, and John, Go back to verse 9. Verse 9 again. Gone. Say, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Gone. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Gone. No, why time you supposed to take heed to the word of the Heavenly Father? You know, for the one that we out there can receive it. Gone. Right? Because, you, you know, in this society, you know, you can't do a certain For this Western world, a matter of fact, you know, you can't do a certain thing, you know, about, you know, the woman. Because, you know, you know, you, even if you he, basically YouTube, you know, you, um, you know, Try to basically you know, flag your video or you know is a woman basically get offended because you ask a certain thing. But this is what the scripture says. The scripture is telling you. Hey. Rise up ye woman at heart, he is he careless. Can. Because you're not a key in the world. You. And, right, um, one? And um couple couple months before them did have World War Three memes and stuff. Right, and the woman them basically show what them place be. Eh? Can. Right, everybody, every woman want to be a cook. Right, every every woman want to stay home and take care of their husband. Right, when them make means to put up it. Right, Can. so that's what they're going to revert to because that's their natural instinct. Eh? She's right, man. Right, one. Well. See, um, many days and years he shall be troubled. One, well. careless woman. You are careless woman, one. Well. For the vintage shall fail. One, well. together and shall not come. So all, all, you know, all the benefits. You know what they basically I get from the society you now. This is what the scripture says. Well, it shall fail. Yeah. Like, like, like for example, as I mentioned about this um, um, American um, soldier, a female soldier. You know, basically I see on the video. This video basically I go viral. You know, I cry about. You know, she, you know, she might be get deployed. You know, for the biggest color fight war. Well, right, because she never going. She, she never going ahead. They basically go fight war, she go in and go the benefit that basically benefit to come with you. But now we see in the time, now, we, now, now she started to see say, we know the time of war. So now she started basically war for back out. That's right. That's right? That's why scripture says never trust the enemy, enemy. man. Because if you go fight your enemy, hey, your, your enemy don't give a damn about you, man. And she can't. Is gonna send you out there. Whether you be a female or a male, your enemy is going to send you out there, man. Can. See? Can. Hey, it should comes before every afternoon as well. Can. Right, because you're signing up into an army. That's the main part of our army, if we go out there and go fight, fight, fight country. Can. And that's a man's job, man. Yeah, that's a man's job, yeah. exactly. But this, 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 this whole equality thing, yeah. right, that's what basically takes place. And, and, and this, let me show it to you. You have um, this um, very low of a crying and crying basically, you know, video about the whole, she basically scared of the whole thing. And guess what? When Russia and the rest of these nations across the world, you know, eight America cities. They must say at this, 
They must send for come fight us. Gun. This is they must give a joke. Yeah. yeah. Gun. Right? The, what? Because they say oh, the chain is strong as the weakest link. Eh? Mm. Gun. Hey, the scripture says, uh, it, it, skirt, it's skirt, it's lift, lift up your skirt. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it, 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 um, wait, it's um, Isaiah, Isaiah 40, 47. Shame shall be discovered. Shame shall be discovered, man. Um, verse 11. Tremble ye, woman that are at ease, Gun. be troubled, be jealous one, and strip you, make you bear, and girds a cloth upon your loins. Gun. Gun. They shall amend for the, um, for the teeth. Teeth. Gun. They shall amend for the teeth, Gun. for the pleasant field, Gun. for the fruits, for the fruitful vines. Gun. Upon the land, oh, you're not going to oh, yeah. go. Because they're going to lament for the teeth. So. So, so the whole, you know, the whole comfort zone, you know, what they mean right now, they're going to get basically get kicked out of it. You know. right, because yeah. we didn't have some serious time. You've seen what's taking place now, the whole food thing, food crisis. Which is right. You know, and the whole shortage of food. The whole shipment thing is so happening because these men, these, these wealthy families of the earth, they are basically a design of famine. Right? In hard times, you know what will take place here? Naturally, you know, man basically, you know, go through and survive. Gun. Right? But the society, the society been making it easy for, easy for. Give me a second. Give me, give me, give me a second. Give me one. Uh, yeah, put, uh, yeah, no, about that. Go in there. Um, second, first, two more to two and nine. Shall we save in jail beer? Ten. Uh, so the book of um, First Timothy 2 and verse 9. Nine. Nine. Uh, so like uh, when I also want to ask you. Alright. But I suffer not. Just a First Timothy 2 and verse 12. One. But I suffer not a woman to teach, Done. nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Done. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. Done. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman, being deceived, was in the transgression. Done. Now, notwithstanding. This is a point I want to forget from the scripture, because you do have you know, a certain um, woman out there who try you know, basically you know, walk the walk, you know, when are not that. Right? But we are talking about in general. Right? But this is what the scripture says. Right? Go on to the brother. Notwithstanding. Notwithstanding, go on. She shall be saved in childbearing. So she shall be saved in childbearing. So you have women who get delivered from all these things to come also. Right? Go on. Then in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity go on. and oldness and sub and severity. Go on. So the, the woman and what we are listening, they basically follow us. So this is what the scripture says. If you continue. You know, in child bearing in charity, right? You're gonna get delivered, you know, in the time to come. Gun. Right? She's right, man. You want more scripture? Who's that? Um, no. Sorry. 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 Because hey, we, 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 we just see a female coming out and she, have, and she basically have cry and I say, boy, she has to get drafted and so forth. Mm. Hey, that that show the weakness of the, of the, of the military. I hey, remember the video when when, when, when that go around when they asked the, 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 young, the young recruit them in the army why the reason why they join the army. See? Some of them said they don't know. Some of them say, boy, it's, it's for the health, the health benefit, man. Like for. for, for it's a college. Some of them join it because they want to go to college and then stop stuff there. Do you know what video they with the yeah, yeah, time? Yeah. See? So enough of these people are joining the army don't know the reason why they join the army, man. Sure. <laughs> yeah. See? He says, um, Isaiah 47 and verse 1, he says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of, of Babylon. Sure. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou then shall no more be called tender and delicate. Because we know in a time now when you know America is gonna basically you know, get the ultimate you know uh, destruction of it basically scripture prophesy about you. Right, seeing what's taking place right now is us Russia getting ready to basically come against America. Right, and America gonna get the worst because according to the prophecy, America gonna become a lake of fire. That's what the scripture say gonna take place, you know, to the land of America. 
people say nobody not gonna dwell there. After the Heavenly Father done it, you know, done it in America. Nobody not gonna live back in the place to call it land, you know, the land mass. Hey. Right, but what? The wild, what? the wild creatures of the highlands. Hey. Scripture refers to her as what? Virgin daughter of Babylon, Babylon because right. she has never been touched. See? In, in, no, in no, no time of war and them stuff, no great war, never fight in Ireland America yet. Then. More than a little civil war they would have and stuff. Even the, back in the time when they, when they, when they kill out the, the, the natives and the people. Then. But all the, the, the great wars they fight before, like World War I, World War II, and them other wars, none never really actually took place in America. Then. They took place in other land. So they basically, then, in that country, we never get destroyed. The, the scripture tells us, when thou cease to destroy, no, so cease to spoil. Cease to spoil. Thou shall be spoiled. Then, Gone. Then, it says, um, it says, take up, it says, take the millstone and grind meal Gone. and cover thy locks. Make beer the leg, then, and cover the tie. Pass over the river. Then, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. And it's a shame right now to the American military. You know, this video I mentioned about this um, female soldier. It's a shame to the American military. Right, because naturally, naturally the woman speak for basically them scared. Right, right but this, as I mentioned, the West, you know, basically been lying to the woman of our nation. Right? Mm -hmm. It says, thy shame shall be seen. Right. I will take vengeance and I will not Meet thee as a man. Can say how is I not meeting you to be so called white man as a man. You know, I come back for you know the nail up again by the cross. Now come back this time around, no? There's an angelic force here. Thousands and thousands of angels. Yeah. And thousands and thousands of chariots. Come to destroy come, men. Come basically remove Esau Edom from out of power and also deliver the elect from the four wings of the earth. Right. right according to the scripture. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and so with that, I say all praises and to you, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Hashem, by Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Graham and Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and the mother pushing the truth in all sincerity and in all honesty. Shalom. Shalom.